Hi, good morning and welcome to another instalment of The Navigator Live. This is the hottest TV programme on the TV right now. Oh, it's gorgeous. Everybody's talking about it. This is where you get the most up-to-date gossip of the day. Wow. Tell us some gossip. Today, there's a rumour. <laughs> Nobody's listening. Whisper it in my ear. We've got some travel agents on board. I don't want to say any more! I don't want to say any more! <laughs> burn, burn. <laughs> some say it's a vicious rumour, I'm not sure. There is some travel agents on board. There are. That's all I'm saying. They might be from Essex. I'm not 100% sure. They That's might the couple. That's the family here, down there. Know. Say hello to the, uh, the, the Essex family. <laughs> How you doing, guys? All right, back up to Ram, back. <laughs> Don't pull focus. Back over, back over. Thank you. Thank you. There's another rumour. Oh, go on in. There's a family from Sheffield on board. Really? They live in Clown, which is more near Chesterfield. Here as well. And the rumour could be confirmed. They're right there! There we go, we found you. We found them clowning wow, around. that is... Oh, clowning hot. around. Yeah. They're from Clown. Oh. Clowning around. Yeah. Not funny. Really wasn't good at all, that one. No. On, on a level of funny to not funny, I was kind of down here on that one, in all fairness. You were, like, under this barrel. I was I was scraping it, is what I was doing. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's funny. <laughs> so today we've got some important information to give you. Uh, it is oh. the beautiful port of Gibraltar. You've travelled for two days now to come and see some beautiful Spanish culture, so we're going to Gibraltar. Yay! Which is England. <laughs> <laughs> Part of the UK, uh, you're going to get... I, I like Gibraltar. It's I cheap know. and cheerful, isn't it? It's not that cheap, actually. I don't know, but I Sometimes know. I disagree. It's not, cheap. it's not cheap and cheerful. It's lovely. What's your favourite thing to do in Gibraltar? Go to Marks and Spencers. You love a bit of Marks and Sparks, don't you? I do. There's a Debenhams there as well. There is. I am, um, yeah. There's lots of like good British high street stores all the way along there, and yeah. Morrison's as well. I might, I might actually Mount be popping into the old Morrison's today. I'm not going to lie. Yeah, I was speaking to your wife earlier. She, she, said she is. She, get for some unknown reason, Asda in Southampton is not good enough for her. She wants to go to Morrison's in Gibraltar. In Gibraltar, which is more expensive, by the way. Because they have to bring all the stuff from Morrison's all the way down, so it's not cheap. No. My wife's got it. She's well clued in, is my wife. Well clued in. So, my wife is on board. Lovely lady. Lovely lady. Hiya. How you doing? She doesn't watch the morning show. Does she not? No, she does not in any way whatsoever. That's her only time away from you, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Bless you. Well, we truly hope you're enjoying yourself. So, um, important information first of all, uh, an 11 a.m. arrival. Yes, exactly. Which means we're getting about 11 o'clock, but we might not get the gangway clear till about 11.30. 11.30. All right, so give us that little bit of a time. If you are not in a mad rush to get off, come brunch. down about 11.45, come down about noon, boom, you better walk off, no, no issues. Easy, yes. Where's the gangway? Deck one, I do believe. That's correct. Deck one. Yes. And if you're on a Royal Caribbean Shore excursion, check your ticket for the meeting venue and the meeting time. That's right. All aboard at 4.30 this afternoon, so make sure you are all aboard. Coming back on board, we've got a great night of entertainment. So, uh, now, we're going to have a lot of ports of call this cruise, so you mentioned something pop, pop, there. Pop, 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 yes, pop. you did mention your shore excursions. I if you are going to be going on shore excursions, though, that information could change every day, so make sure, because we give everyone the information. It's on the ticket. Do you know what some people do? They get the envelope with the tickets in. How are you from the Belly Flop family? I see you down there. <laughs> belly Floppers. Yes. His wife was embarrassed about him yesterday. Now she's happy with him. So what you do is you get an envelope. Some people think the envelope is your tickets. It's not. What you need to do is open the envelope. And I'm laughing because I can't believe people. some people do this. But they'll walk around. Look, well, I don't know where to meet. This just says this is the tour of booked. Open the envelope. Get your tickets out. The information is on the tickets in the envelope. I'm just saying some people make that mistake. And also, make sure you have the right tickets because I've seen some people, for example, we're into Gibraltar tomorrow, you might come down well, with your ticket for Cartagena or your ticket for Lisbon. Wrong place. <laughs> Surprisingly. All right, so uh, make sure you are well prepared 
Well done. Well, you understand what you're doing. Now, going into Gibraltar is very easy. You can walk off, you can walk into town, you can get a little shuttle bus down if you want. I think the walk's easy enough. It's not fast 15 walk minutes. At all, just a straight road and you're in. It's got to be easy. I don't get lost. And I am an idiot, in all fairness. Well, there's only one road in and She's one She's looking road at me out. like an idiot, so she, she didn't disagree with that comment whatsoever. She was sat there going, yep, you've got a point. Yep, you've got a point. I just didn't say anything then, did I? Actually? But you were thinking it though, weren't you? <laughs> you didn't disagree with that statement. No, I just, just I, no comment. I just changed the subject, I think. Ah, absolutely. Uh, so, no, you can walk into town. Uh, quite easy for you to walk into town. Few things you need to be aware of. You're right, sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> didn't even realise, did he? Welcome to the show. We've got your shoulder you and your head in the show there. Bless him. Few things you need to be aware about in Gibraltar. Uh, they take pounds, they take Gibraltar pounds, they look at Scottish money thinking, what is that, to be honest with you? But let's be honest, most people look at Scottish money and go, what is that? I struggle to spend Scottish money in Southampton. They always check uh, it, they call the manager in, is this an no, allowed that's currency? This. <laughs> it's not the money, it's the person that's got the money. <laughs> Thanks, Lizzie. That might be the quickest and funniest comeback you've ever done in the morning show. Well done. <laughs> it is, isn't it? That's very good. <laughs> money today don't do it every day please <laughs> all right so uh yeah so uh that's oh that's the currency uh few things you need to be aware of monkeys apes they're called apes aren't they they're not monkeys they're... why are they not monkeys I don't, I don't know is an ape not a monkey are we not all apes oh well you're going you're going to be deep now aren't you on this i well now i'm confused i thought a monkey no, they're wasn't called it apes. all they're right apes in gibraltar what does Clown think? She's clearly a, a fishyado on monkeys it. and apes <laughs> and orangutans. Are they all the same? We've only been up once and one bit. Right, so oh, there we go. She's, been she's only been up one. to the rock once to see the monkeys and one of the monkeys bit her. Or we apes. should mention this. Yes. The monkeys or the apes are They're not, not scared of anything. No. They will be rummaging around your bags looking for food, cell phones. They do quite a good trade on iPhones up there in all fairness. <laughs> they do, they take... You get them that. quite cheap because the monkeys are taking them out, going around the corner, and they're selling them. It's a bit of a business hot spot, in all fairness. <laughs> it's monkey business. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody stop me. <laughs> nice comeback. I thought you said they were apes. <laughs> very yeah, good, Sophie. That stuck in with my joke. <laughs> that was that was very good, Lizzie. I'm quite proud of you for that one. <laughs> I feel like you're growing. I love it. Uh, so that's right. So uh, just be careful with the monkeys, the apes. The orangutans, whatever you want to call them, all the, right? Them little furry things. Well, no, that could be something completely different. Stop <laughs> it, clown. Stop it. All right, so uh, be very, very careful when you go into town. Have a nice, uh, steady walk around. Make sure you're back on board at 4.30. Have some fun. When you come back on board, today is an amazing night of entertainment. Ta-da! It is. Come and join us. Oh, great night. Oh. I'm so excited about the entertainment we've got on for everybody this cruise. It is all about variety. Last night, the Tenors of Rock brought the house down. Mm -hmm. Mick Miller Mick doing Miller. his second show for you. Absolutely fantastic. Brought the house down. Tonight, Ben Mills. Ben Mills from the UK X Factor. You may recognise him from that. And he does such a great classic mix of, of songs uh, uh, for everybody. There's going to be all styles. I remember how good he was, and I think everybody, I think everyone was upset that he didn't win at the time when he was in uh. The X Factor. Yeah, great show. Come and join us. Yes, he's done so many more things since X Factor. You know that X Factor is that nice stepping stone it for is, a lot of the acts. It? it gets you, I know some people win the competitions, some people don't win the competitions, but it gets you that stepping stone to, to working elsewhere around the world. And sometimes people think, oh, because you're not on the TV, you're not famous anymore. And that's not actually the case. No. Because we're not on the TV anywhere in the world, but we're still famous, aren't we, Lizzie? Yeah, Cuddy, you're famous. Thank you, Lizzie. Much appreciated. No, but that's what it's all about. So this, this is what we want everyone to understand. Ben Mills, great show. You know, he's been he's, he's one of our firm favourites, so we always keep asking him back because he's that mm. good. So come and join us tonight with a classic mix of uh, songs. And we've got karaoke coming your way. Family karaoke, adult karaoke as well. Finish that lyric game show. Mm -hmm. So how does that game show work? So we're going to get some contestants right. up on the dance floor. Okay. We're going to play some tunes. Welcome Morning. to the show, sir. How you doing? Welcome. Oh, no smoking on board. No please. smoking on board, sir. Thank you. And um, 
all of a sudden the music's going to stop, the tune's going to stop, and you have to keep singing to get the lyrics 100% correct. That's so let me get this right. The game show called Finish That Lyric, you're going to play a song, yep. and what they have to do is... Finish that lyric. Simple in its complexity, really, isn't it? 9.45 in the Star Lounge. That's absolutely right. So come and join us uh, for that one. Uh, you know, it's just... I, you know, I love these Chris Cummins because they are jam-packed. You've got live music all around. Mm -hmm. You've got Star Lounge. You've got music going on. You've got activities in the daytime. Whether you're, I, today's... I would, I, I would strongly suggest everyone goes off today, actually. It's so easy to go off. It's beautiful, Gibraltar. It is. Poolside movies for you. Do you know, I'm, I'm excited about this cruise. In all fairness, the ports of call are great. I know we've never had so many back-to-back -back ports of call. It's nine days of ports of call. Boom, 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 boom. Seeing a lot of the world, aren't you, this cruise? We really are. So fantastic times, everyone. So that's it. That's the cruise compass. There everyone is. knows what's happening. Shows tonight, all around. Fun things for everyone to do. Uh, we've got lots of things for the kids, lots of things for the adults, mums and dads. It's all going on for you. It's now time for the shout outs. Shout outs. Should we do shout half out. each? Yeah, go on. Now, then. if you want to do some uh, shout outs, you are more than welcome to uh, make your way down to guest services desk out located outside deck number five. Ooh. You all right? I'm ringing. Ooh, I'll look, talk about that later. All right, so uh, you are more than welcome to uh, take part of the morning shows. Uh, there's a little uh, drop-off box just outside of guest services. You can fill in your slips, drop them in, and we'll read them out for you. This is where, if you want to say there's been some excellent uh, crew members uh, who have delivered that passionate, friendly service, then we'll make them part of a big old raffle that we're going to do for everybody as well. Yeah, we but will. we'll talk about that a little shortly. Here we go. I've got one here from Martin. My wife, Sharon, is the best. Oh, well done, Martin. Some people may disagree. Happy birthday to... Just saying. Hi, Sharon. That gentleman who's behind the TV, he might disagree that Sharon's the best wife because he might like his best wife more. Am I right? Are you his wife? I was going to say it. Do you think your the wife's wife. the best wife in the world? Oh, no, he does. Do you think Sharon's he the agrees best with wife Martin. in the world? He does. He agrees <laughs> with Martin. What a shocker. He absolutely agrees with Martin. Do you know what? It all happens when you're cruising, doesn't it? Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, that works on far too many levels, Lizzie. You are on fire today. All right, so here we go. Happy birthday to Jeanette Hamilton from uh, Hamo, Pete and Mandy, deck six. Can you please wish our dad, Peter Bradshaw, on deck 10 a happy birthday today on Tuesday, 81 years young. Lots of love from Lisa, Nigel, Sonia, Todd, Carter, and Eden, kiss, kiss, kiss. Hold PTO, on, there's more. We'll have a PTO. Can you also wish our mum, Jill Bradshaw, a belated 80th birthday? Lots of love to both of you. Kiss. Love the couple. Love the couple. Isla or Isla and Lauren, shout out to Nino for the brilliant water. The brilliant waitering. Shout out to my dog Lola and my dog dogs Lola and Charlie. Here is our riddle. Turn over for the answer. You can find me near guest services. I can give you the information and you can find me in guest services. What am I? I don't know. Pen and paper. Ah. Pencil and paper. Thank you. So is this the brilliant waitering? So this one, Nino, is going to go into our crew appreciation pile. I've got one here as well. Gallon, excellent service at Giovanni's. Gallon was our server. Terrific bar none. Ooh, well done. So we're going to explain this pile here for you. Mm. Storm Orchard. I still love the name. Storm Orchard. Orchard. And? Stop laughing. The lady behind the screen keeps laughing. She's laughing at the name. I've not made this name up. Storm Orchard. Happy 14th birthday on Tuesday 8th. Love from Mum, Dad, Eden, Amelia, Angie and Martin. Happy 14th birthday to Storm Orchard. Love that name. We want, do you know what? I want to see Storm Orchard on the morning show. Would you not like to? What are you laughing yeah. at? I think we would I'm find. Not I, I would like to meet Storm. And we want to see the Sea Pass card as well. Storm Orchard With on the morning show. Come and say hi. In the evenings in the pub. That's right. By when we're filming. 
Uh, 7.45 say, tonight. Yeah, I was going to say, I want to say 7.45. 7.45, forty-five, isn't it? 7.45 tonight we're filming, so if you want to come and say hi in the morning show, you're more than welcome to. We'll be here. There's two kids behind the TV that want to come and say hi in the morning show, so come on, kids. Come on in. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Well, hello, how are you? Hi. Come closer. That sounds you ominous, but your mum and dad's there, it's fine. All right, so uh, we're going to introduce you all. We're going to find out what your names are, uh, and then you're going to... Hi, welcome back to the show, sir. How you doing? Twice. Daddy's cigarette now, I think. He's Twice. all right. You'd think he'd have seen the camera the first time. All right, there we go. Your mum's still laughing, so it's absolutely fine. Tell us, what's your name? Maddie. Maddie? How are you, Maddie? Stanley. Sammy? Stanley. Da Stanley? Yeah. Stanley. Comic book Stanley? Really? Stanley's named after the comic book writer at Marvel. Nice one! Dan Lee. It's a really cool name, if you like comic books. If not, it's quite dated, in all fairness. Uh, right, so uh, <laughs> so tell us, what is your favourite thing to do on a cruise ship? Go in the pool. Go in the pool, very good. What's Watch your favourite? Watch the movies. What? Watch the movies. Watch the movies, you like yeah, the movies. Absolutely. Did you watch the Lego Brickumentary? Uh, we haven't watched one yet. Alright. Oh, you've not watched any of the movies yet, but you like watching movies? Yeah to come he's talking about in the future good 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 stuff fantastic all right uh this is how we're going to do a random uh, guest moment say hi hi say bye bye that's it you can leave thank you superstars Stan of the morning Lee. Show. so that lady laughed at the, the, the name when i said storm orchard however they called their son stan lee is it not Stan Lee or is it Stan Lee? No, Stan Lee, because he's the comic book writer for Marvel. Stan Lee or Stan Lee? No. No, Stan listen to the Lee. mother. No, it's, it's Stan not, Lee. No, no, the mother the dad, knows. No, the, the dad mother said knows Stan Lee. better than you. Is it Stan Lee as in the comic book writer or Stan Lee? Stan Lee. He knows. The dad, the dad behind the camera is going Stan Lee. He wanted it to be Stan Lee. That was the compromise. <laughs> Stanley. That was the compromise. Look, you're all more than welcome to talk, uh, join in, be part of the morning show, come and say hi, have a little drive-by. If you want to walk through the shot, just like everybody else who's oblivious, you're more than welcome to. However, it's now time for my favourite part of the show. It is, isn't it? I'm going to do a little dance first. What's, What's in, in the, the bag? bag? What's, What's in, in the, the bag? bag? Here is the bag. The bag's in the tree. Ta -da! What's in the bag? Well, I don't know, that's the question. What is in the bag? No, you that's know. how we play the game. What's in so the bag? So in case you've not seen this, you know, he's, he's been thrown out of his stateroom. Yes, isn't he? He's been kicked out. The wife's kicked him out of his he's stateroom. He's walking around with He's moving stateroom. staterooms. He's not having, can we see the gentleman moving staterooms? Go on. Zoran, turn around, sir. Turn around. He's leaving. He's gone. Lifeboat number one. <laughs> he's taking his pillar and his duvet, he's leaving. <laughs> Everybody on the old promenade are looking at that poor man. He's just trying to be inconspicuous going along. Oh, that was a bit funny in all fairness. Really that was. like sleepwalking. What, eight o'clock at night? It's no, because we filmed this at eight o'clock in the morning, obviously. Let's not morning. spoil the illusion of the morning show. What's all right, so here we go. This is how the game works, all right? We've got two people taking Ooh. part. Here you go. I was just trying to think what we came up you with You are today. allowed to ask two questions that I can answer yes or no. We do not put what's in the bag in the bag because people cheat. You know you would, Lizzie. There's only two people who know that what's in the bag, me and my wife. What questions did you ask yesterday to help our guests? Did you buy it on board the ship? No. You said no. No. I says, is it less than 20 inches? Yes, it's less than and 20 it inches. Is. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Phyllis. Next question. Phyllis. I'm Dilly. Hello, Phyllis on deck three. <laughs> What's in the bag? Is it a toy? It's not a toy. Is it metal? It's not metal. Is it a yo yo? It's not a yo yo. No. Good Do question, though. No, I like that, Phyllis. Oh, no. John O'Deck nine. John O. What's in the bag? Is it to do with sport? It's not to do with... That's a good question, though. Mm. I like how people are trying to ask questions to eliminate yeah, what's in the bag. Yeah, you're better than last guessing. cruise. Is it to do with sport? No. 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 Is it a game? What? A game. <laughs> a game. How can you not see that? G-A-M-E. I said a game. Did you? Didn't what sound did you like you said I... that. 
I don't know what you actually said. That's why I was like, can you not? Is it a game? It's not a game, no. No, it's not a game, no. Is it a keychain? It's not a keychain, no. I can see why you would go for those. So that's how you play. Mm. Oh, what's, what's in, in the, the bag? bag? What's, what's in, in the bag? bag? All right. Do you want to ask some questions? Yes. Let's let's do some questions. Um, is it hard? It's not hard, no. So it's less than twenty inches, and it's not hard. Is it waterproof? Is it waterproof? Yes, it's waterproof. That's a good question, actually. I know. Yes, it's waterproof. Would you like to have a guess? Is it a rubber duck? It's not a rubber duck. It's not a rubber duck. <laughs> no, rubber it's duck. not. It's not a rubber duck. I can see why you would go that way, though. Yeah. Well done. So, no, that's all we've got time for in What's, What's in, in the, the bag? bag? What's, What's in, in the bag? bag? Well done. <laughs> so, if you want to take part in What's in the Bag, Make right your way team. down to the guest services desk on deck number five. You can fill in your slips, put your name and your questions, find out what's in the bag. All right, that's all you need to do, find out what's in the bag. If you guess what's in the bag, you win what's in the bag. That's how the game, what's in the bag, what's in the bag works. I left you hanging there. You did leave me on the on that one a little bit. You did leave me on my own a little bit. I was a little bit surprised. I'm not we'll get lie. everybody joining in tomorrow. How about that? Shocker. Absolute shocker. No, I know. Clown's still here. Well done, Clown. They, they persevered through it all. Have a fabulous day. Don't forget, if you've got any of those passion, passionate, committed <laughs> what, where you going crew with members this? Oh. <laughs> who have delivered that outstanding service, write their names down, put them into the box, and we will enter those names into a raffle and at the end of the cruise we're going to pull out a name and we're going to say congratulations they've won uh, a free gift from our uh, offices on board free cruise <laughs> <laughs> that's quite funny for you well done lizzie well done so we've got two names here we got some more features coming in the morning show as well oh that we do not yet but we have got who lives in a cabin like this mm. not yet it's not coming yet so that's coming up in a few days time we're going to start enjoying our ports of call. Have a fabulous day in Gibraltar. Yes. Watch out for the monkeys. Or apes. Eight. Apes. She got bit by one. I know. She's been all right since. <laughs> she stitches quite a bit sometimes, in all fairness. Are you going off today? No, I'm not. Oh, busy. Mm. <laughs> what, what was that mm, for? Mm, I've got what we call our import manning. Oh, duty it's one of today. those days, is it? It's one of those Very days. Very important, Judas. Have a fabulous day. If you see me walking around in the beautiful ports of uh, Gibraltar, don't confuse me with one of with the. With an apes. ape! <laughs> it's goodbye from me. It's goodbye from him. And me.